Now, the reason our lovely biking ladies are here tonight is because there's a brand new breed of Easy Rider taken to Britain's roads. OK. By the way, you said Easy Rider there. Our producer wanted to call you Wheezy Riders. Oh. But, ladies, I stood up for you at the meeting. Yay! That is not quite what happened. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Move on. OK. Uh, right, these, these ladies are over 50, but listen to this. Because they have so much disposable income nowadays, these days... <laughs> They are who the motorbike industry is looking at. They're, they're being targeted. Watch this film. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate and I ride a Honda NC24 and I first became passionate about bikes in 2007. Found myself a nice lady teacher and went and passed my test. And then suddenly there I was with a full bike licence ready to go. And in July 2007, after I passed my test, I went to do the track day up at Knock Hill. So, <laughs> so, and in the rain as well. A few golfing friends who think I'm just army, I think, is the only way to describe it. They admire me for the fact I get out there and, and, and just get on and do it. I just got my race licence, and in between that and the first race, I was told I got breast cancer. My first thought was just to stop everything and, and not not race but the great thing about racing is that it's 100 percent concentration so it actually took my mind off the whole situation racing was was fantastic for that because i could just forget about everything else and, and just get on with it my name's katie mother of six grandmother of two and i ride a honda cbf 125 and i love it i've got six children so the older more sensible ones are like mom you're actually mad but my younger kids were like, oh my God, my friends think you're so cool. So they're quite happy with it. I think it's an adrenaline rush. I actually like the freedom in the countryside. I just like to be next to nature. So you get to feel the breeze, you get to smell the fields. In the city, I like the filtering because I'm not stuck in a traffic jam. I'm just like up the side of them. I'm like, yes. <laughs> As a Muslim rider, I get double takes. Very often get double takes when they're like, did she just take her helmet off and she wears a hijab? But I keep it all on, yeah. I do go quite fast and I really should. <laughs> I did a wheelie, trying to get off quickly, but that, that's the last time I'm going to do a wheelie. <laughs> you get scared, but you love it. So I enjoy maybe the scary bit, maybe. I'm Billy Fisher and I've been motorcycling for over 25 years. I would say my first memory is actually being about this big and being taken in the sidecar with my mum and dad. I had a bit of a break between being about two years old and being 40 years old because my father got rid of the bike. I fell back in love with bikes big time when I was about 40. When I got rid of my L plates, I felt an enormous sense of elation and I couldn't wait to get my first big bike. But when I got my first big bike, I was petrified. <laughs> it was this huge beast that used to glower at me from the garage and sort of said, take me out the buzz and the adrenaline rush that you get when your mental abilities, your physical abilities, your bike's abilities and its capabilities are guiding you down some fantastic roads. You know, I've got a few crazy ideas as well. I'd like to ride the A roads of England in numerical order. Remember, I'm a li librarian, so I, I have to have things very ordered. So I'd like to do the A1 followed by the A2, the A3, etc., etc. I'm part of Curvy Riders Motorcycle Club. It's, it's a fantastic club. I think it's sort of cake and cackle because we, we do a lot of tea shops and we do a lot of laughter. So what's driving all these women then to take to the road? We've brought our wonderful ladies outside onto their bikes here and Julia, you are known as the mother of all bikers. Now, however did you come across that name? Uh, well, five years ago on social media, I put up a thing and uh, I got 22 and a half thousand bikers follow me to Royal Wooden Bassett to pay our respects. And uh, from then we've been carrying on with lots of charity work. But the biking community is a family. It's a huge family. So somehow I've ended up as mother. Yeah, she's so. the boss. Yeah. But the boss. OK. Well, the father of the one show has got some other lovely ladies over there. Grandfather. <laughs> OK. So we've got a family bikes here. We've got Carla, we've got Margaret and we've got John. Uh, so first of all, Margaret, Mum, tell us about your bike. It's uh, an 1800cc intruder with a Watsonian sidecar. 
OK, and John's in his place there, isn't he, in the sidecar? Yeah, that's when he goes for a drink. I can drive him. OK. Ex-police motorcyclist, by the way, the finest motorcyclist in the world. Thank you very much, John. Thank and you. Carla, inspired yeah. by that's... your mum and dad, of course you are. Absolutely. Do you now have a collection yourself? I do. I've got a collection of Italian motorcycles. Nice. Now, well, this is the latest uh, in the stable. How come? Um, well, this is my enduro bike, and this is the bike I'm hoping to ride from John O'Groats to Land's End as much off-road as I can manage. All right. Um, and so that happens on my 51st birthday in July. Happy birthday for then. All right, you have one more, Alex. Well, Diane, who's rode all the way from Chester, has got the beast of all beasts here. <laughs> now, what's the most extravagant, optional extra you've got on this bike? Mine has to be the 12-volt um, plug in the back so that I can take my hair straight. Yes! There we go. <laughs> yes, Diana, we're going after my own hair. You don't want helmet hair, do we? No. No? no. And no. do you use it quite often? Yes. That's why you're immaculate, you see. <laughs> I wish. There you are, there you are. Thank you, ladies. We can all go back into the warmth now.